Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video of these 12 days of Plankmas. Today I'm going to be showing you how I set up this tiny passport size travelers company notebook. And yeah, so before we start, let's just turn on a candle. This is the candle for all these 12 days. As you guys know, I bought this on Target and it smells amazing. So let's turn it on. If you don't know me, my name is B. And I made so many videos about boxing, a lot of planning, a lot of stationery, and anything related with paper. So let's start with this. So this one in here is one that I bought in the airport, in Narita Airport, when I went to Japan. And I bought that, and then I got this little kind of like charm in here. And I got this one in Nakameguro when I went to Japan. So it looks kind of cute in there. So that's the only decoration I have in there. So this planner I bought when I did the unboxing of the Travelers Company 2024 things that I will be using. I show you guys the stickers and some of the things to set it up. So this is the only ones that I'm going to be using, the dated ones. And this is mainly going to be for my language learning. So I just want to show you really quick how I set it up and just talk about this. So I have used many passport size. I'm going to be showing you in another days as well. But this one for Travelers Company, the inserts, I just eh, got this one for next year. The other ones have like one notebook or something like that, but they don't have like many inserts. This is the only one with many inserts. I used to have like a passport the one that was from my Starbucks Reserve Rosary, and I use it as a personal to travel with me. But now I'm using the bigger size for travel, and I insert in there one of these small inserts. But anyways, this one in here, I just put this beautiful sticker by Travelers Town 2024, and then in here the 2024 Travelers. And this, I really like this. So in here, this one in here is going to be the monthly. So when you open it up, it doesn't really have anything in here. I don't have anything planned yet in there. This in here is the overview of the whole year. So I'm just going to eh, look at this. I'm not really going to use it. Then moving on, this one in here is the one that I want to use. I'm going to use it mainly as a tracker to track when I'm taking any lessons or no. So that's that tracker. The moving on in here into the monthly, I'm going to be using it mainly as I have been using other planners that is with, a, I'm going to be using like a prompt or I will put like language or something and I'm going to use the weekly to write in that language because I haven't been able to practice a lot of Korean or Mandarin. So I want to do that. So this is going to be like a lot of prompts, a lot of like, for example, if I learn a new character in Mandarin, I'm going to put it in here. So it's a lot of kind of like what I'm doing every single day. When I look back at the end of the month, I just want to see this in one page. So these are all the monthlies in here. This is start in December. I'm not going to use it in December. I'm going to start in January because I want to see the whole year at a glance. So that's all the monthlies in there. And then the pages in the back, I'm not really going to use those. So that's the first insert. Then what I did is that I could this in here and this was the little folder that I bought for 2024. I don't know if you guys can see the design, but it's this beautiful traveler sound in there. I, I just put it down so I can put it in here as a cover and it looks kind of pretty in there because I was not going to use that small folder, but I like it as a cover a lot. So in here, I decorated this with more of those decorations that comes from 2024. I put in here this one that is just traveler sound. Everything's waiting for you. And this is so pretty. And then I put this one. I don't know why, but these birds with the kind of like the color of this insert, they look so pretty. So I'm putting that one in there. This insert in here is the weekly. I haven't decorated anything inside here. This is from January until June. So I have another weekly set that I'm going to be using later on. So my idea for this weekly is not to kind of like go and plan what to do, but more like to study. And if I study alone or study with any website, I'm going to put in here what language I study and with what. So let's hope I can put all that information in here. And then in the weekly, I'm going to be doing some of the study. So as I mentioned in the monthly, I'm going to have some prompts or I'm going to have like some, like if I want to practice one specific character for Mandarin, for example, in here, I do some of the phrases. So my idea for this is to use it as writing, not as planning, but more as a writing kind of system. And if I plan, it will be like really small in here with a dot saying that I have a class or no. So that's basically 
all that is going to be going into the weekly i am okay with the weeklies not being filled up i don't really have a lot of time to to give to language le learning next year because i am taking my masters and my masters is already kind of like really busy but language learning is still a hobby that i have so i really want to keep doing it but if a week i don't get to study anything that's okay so in here is just the other side of the travelers this folder what i did is that i put inside this little like pocket in here so i can put any information and i really like this pocket by travelers company for 2024 it looks so cute it's like traveling and going all around i really really like it i just wanted to use all of these i didn't want to start like hoarding all of these items by travelers company of course i'm gonna archive their them but i want to use them i don't want to just have it in a box so the last one is this one this one in here is like a really really cute a uh, kind of like notebook that i got and this one in here is by good ink Pressions, so it's really beautiful kind of like notebook in here i put four different stickers i put this one i put this one i really like this yellow one it looks so cute in here and then i put this one in here with the ice cream and then this little flag so in here my idea is that if i learn something new in any language i'm just gonna write it down in here so this is more like taking notes and it doesn't have many paper but it's okay because if i use it for one quarter i can change it or no but otherwise i'm just gonna be using this to study and to learn so i really really like it the main reason why i'm not using many of the passport size is because as you guys can see on these 12 days i have so many planners and language learning it was a big part of my instagram last year but then this year i start like getting more busy with working and studying and learning accessibility and i just i have to be honest uh, the community of language learning is like really competitive i feel like sometimes like i have seen so many people that they are studying the same kind of like theme for a language for like a week and they post their progress even if it's just one grammar structure and then there's other people commenting like they don't trust that you're learning because you are having the same structure and i just saw so many of those kind of comments in other people's posts on instagram and i just didn't really feel that negativity in my life so i just didn't want to to continue into the language learning community so i haven't posted any of my language learning at least not on instagram and um, i think we all have our own pace on learning a language it doesn't have to be rushed no one learns at the same kind of like speed or kind of like uh, yeah like no one learns at the same speed so so yeah, I I love this journaling community because I feel like everyone in this community is really nice and and all of you are always encouraging. So so yeah, I'm really grateful for that. But I'm gonna continue learning languages just a little bit on the side. So I just wanted to show you how I set up this one and how I'm gonna be using my language learning for next year. But yeah, this is a really quick video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.